What's up, everybody? Joshua Casper back at you with Plugin Boutique, and today we're checking out Little Clipper by Boz Digital Labs. I'm going to show you how to make crunchy, crispy drums using this Little Clipper VST. Let's go ahead and listen to the drums. So that's with the Little Clipper and a compressor. Now let's go ahead and bypass the Little Clipper. So you can see there's a big difference. There's a lot more character. It feels a little squashed, and that's because it is, but it's giving it more punch and it's letting it stand out more in the mix. So if we play that together with, say, the bass. You can see that it's really adding a lot to it. So I'm gonna just show you how I did it. It's actually really, really simple with this. Inside of my effects chain down here, I'm just using the glue compressor after the little clipper, but uh, it's not really doing too much. All it's really doing is accentuating the release of the snare and the kick. However, that's not the point of this tutorial. It's all about the little clipper today. So this is the little clipper, a very simple device. You got your push and your pull, which is essentially input gain and then the ceiling. So we can reduce the ceiling and increase the input gain and we'll squash the signal. So there we're even getting like more crunchy, grimy hip hop drums. into almost gabber kick territory there. But I mean, I, I just would like push it a little bit and then I pull it a fairly decent amount. All right. And we also have a knee control over here. And for drums, I like to keep it pretty crispy, but I mean, you do have the softer knee down here at the left and you have anywhere in between, so. So you see that it's a little bit crunchier there on the right side at 100% hardness. There's another really cool function inside of here, and it's right here where you can adjust what's being affected. So we, stereo sounds like this. Mid side mode sounds like this. So you can see that the kick is mono and that's what's getting crunched and only some of the snare is uh, on the side. So we're just crunching the mid of that snare. And I think it sounds really good and that's why I was using that for this example. However, we can compress just the mid or just the side. So you got uh, more than a few choices inside of here. And I think for especially percussion, drums, kicks and snares and such, this is a really sweet device for getting that extra character and crunch. You also have the ability to A, B. So you can see here on the B side, I've got a little bit of a different setup going on and I've got it on stereo and on A it's mid side and it's a little bit of a difference in the push and pull parameters here. And that way you can just quickly A, B them to see which one sounds better. I think it's no question, it's definitely A. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with you real quick using a device like this. It's really easy to get those crunchy hip hop drums and just make them sound better and full of character. I'm Joshua Casper here for Plugin Boutique. I hope you learned something. We'll see you in the next video.